Well, good evening, everyone, and happy Monday. As Tina said, it's a marvelous Monday, and we are delighted that you are all choosing to join us. I'm Sharon Rankin, and I am Zooming in from Nashville, Tennessee, and I am delighted that you all are choosing to be with us this evening. And I always say every week, your choice to be with us means so very much. It means that our mission is important to what we're doing to inspire healthy living around the world, and that's what we're doing every single day we share a story, when we share a video, when we invite somebody to come on along. So each week as we come together, our purpose is to remind us of the greater mission, which is inspiring healthy living around the world. And our team, which is the Mission Mission Possible team, uh, comes together every week. It is a growing team of inspired individuals who are ambassadors dedicated to change for as many as possible. So thank you for what you guys are doing every single day to make a difference. And please know that every time we do one of our Monday night calls, every time we do a call, the purpose is to inspire and to equip. And so that's what we're doing tonight. We've got two special guests with us tonight, and I'm so excited that you all are going to learn from Marty Bug, who is a new national marketing director, and then her sponsor, Leanne Harris, um, who is a national marketing, a PMD, presidential national marketing director. And while I don't know Marty as well, I met Leanne some years ago in St. Louis at Susie Cruzy's house. I don't know if you remember that or not, Leanne. I think you were fairly new in the business. And we have watched Leanne grow and develop and to be a significant leader within the Juice Plus community she has a medical background, but uh, one thing, I know, and she's a plant, she calls herself a plant-based educator, and uh, she loves plants. If you ever follow Leanne on her on her Facebook, she is gardening in the ground, towers everywhere. She has got it going on, but she's definitely an advocate for health and wellness. Marty is a, is a mom on a mission, so I'm going to turn this over to these two ladies. I'm going to try to put this on side view if I can do this and we'll figure this out while you all are coming on board. But thank you ladies for coming to share with us this evening. Thank you, Sharon. You know, you are one of my, um, we're actually reading this book right now and um, we get to outline people that have mentored us and you are one of my mentors. Um, Spiritual business sister, I just love you. And I just thank you so much for allowing us on this call tonight to share our stories. So you guys are in for a treat. Um, Marty Bug, take a breath. She gets nervous. <laughs> you know what? She is the girl next door. Everybody loves Marty Bug, just kind of like her name. You know, it's just as cute as can be. And Marty is married to Brad and her son is Seth. And she is actually at her um, job that she still works at part time that she still loves. And so, yes, she can do two things at once, be a national marketing director and work outside the home. And so you guys are going to be really inspired by her story. If you don't remember it from conference or if you didn't get a chance to hear it, um, Marty, she's just that energizer bunny that just keeps on going and she always turns, you know, everything into something positive. So um, she inspires me. So Marty, come on and just, you know, the talk tonight, the name of the talk is Breaking Through in the Struggle. Mm -hmm. And we all, we all know if we live long enough, there's always struggle around us at all moments. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. And we've encountered quite a few today, right? <laughs> and they just happen. So Marty, why don't you just come on and share with us first, you know, why did you say yes to Juice Plus? How'd you learn about it? And what inspired you to get started? Mm. Um, I was a, I was a desperate mama. I mean, really it was all around trying to help my son get better I had been doing the fine gold diet I had <laughs> done so many things and basically you know he's on spectrum and he didn't eat very well and he was sick constantly and I just knew there was a way to to do things better and I actually got introduced to juice plus by my nurse practitioner that I was seeing at the time um, it took me a while to agree to it because it was in a capsule and I'm like a lot of people y'all know, and it was throwing me, oh no, it's going to mess up all these medications that he's taking. And, you know, she just had to settle me down and say, can he eat a salad bar? And I said, yeah, well, then he can take juice plus because he wasn't getting the nutrients needed. So that's kind of um, how I got started and why I got started to begin with. And then you started to see changes in his health and you started sharing it. Yeah. So yeah. tell us how that transformed. 
So, yeah, um, I saw in about three months time, he came off all his allergy meds. He, um, he was taking seizure meds. He was taking ADHD meds. Oh, y'all, it was a mess. And uh, he was still sick constantly, still having little what they called seizures. Um, anyway, um, so probably about three and a half months, because they said give it four. I gave it three and a half. I took him off his allergy meds and he's, he was four. He's 17 now and he's never been back on them. I'm not saying it was juice plus, but I'm just telling y'all that's the only thing I changed. And then probably about, you know, then I started learning and then I just got really hungry. I was listening to all those voice comms. I just sit in there and just like, listen, listen, listen. You know, I'd stay up till midnight just trying to find something. And I, and I did. <laughs> anyway, um, so probably do you me tell you about three and a half years in, he came off the seizure meds and that's when I got really excited. <laughs> and so I was already telling everybody because, you know, my allergies got better. So if I saw anybody with allergies, I'm like, you need to go see her because this stuff is amazing. So that's kind of how that started. And then she came to me and said, you need to be doing this. <laughs> so, yeah. And so you became a partner and for you guys, um, Marty lives in a town called St. Joe, Texas. Do you have one stop sign? We have more than one stop sign. We have, we have a red light and okay. it has 1100 people in it. So it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're talking, you know, little town, but Marty has become known for doing events because she loves to help people. <laughs> yes. So tell us how you started um, sharing Juice Plus at events and going all over the place. And yeah, well, I did, you know, when she first talked to me, I said, oh, no, I don't want to sell anything. <laughs> Anybody said that before, heard that before? I mean, I was like, oh, no. Anyway, but I talked to my husband. He's like, well, we might as well get a discount. So I'm like, well, that's true. So that's how it kind of started. Then I, I think I really like the helpers high. I still do. Like, I loved it when somebody would say yes, and you knew that they were going to get better, and they did. And I just chased that. I still chase that because I love, that's what I love, I think, is just helping people get better. I think that was my second why besides helping my son. Yeah. So when did you get a vision for the business? Um, I think that came... If you guys were at conference and you heard the story about my husband, probably about it's, he's been sober, clean and sober, um, 10 years now. So about 10 years ago, it became real to me because, and I debated on whether to share this, but I'm just going to share it because it's the truth. Um, he had to go to rehab and I didn't know what my life was going to turn out to be. I mean, if that didn't go right, I wasn't sure. What was going to happen and I had this child and I didn't make a ton of money I did okay but I was thinking we're used to live in a certain way he eats a lot of organic I just when he was gone I just I poured myself into my business where some people would stop I didn't stop I actually <laughs> I poured in because I'm like I need this thing to grow you know I need this thing to grow well and it did it paid our bills while he was gone and he was the bigger breadwinner, you know, but my little juice plus business turned out to pay our bills and bought Christmas for our kid that year. And so that's when it really, I was like, uh, yeah, this is more than just uh, paying for my juice plus, you know, this really could be something. So, so for those of you listening in, you know, Marty was famous for being coachable and teachable. <laughs> she was always asking can you make me a boxer about this? Or do you have something with me that I can share about this? Because she was always loving on people wanting to share resources with them. So three-way calls and just constantly asking for boxers and archiving them so that the, she wouldn't have to ask that later on that she could supply them to her team. So if you're not doing that, I would highly recommend using that third-party validation and yeah. she wanted us to do her events because both of her uplines were medical and she felt like she couldn't do the events. And so finally, she just keeps it so simple. We just kind of shoot her out of the nest a little bit. So oh. tell us what kind of events you've done. Okay. Where I thought y'all were mean too when y'all made me. You were mean because you were capable. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, what kind of events have I done and did I do? We've done salads in a jar, burritos in a jar. We've done facial parties. Um, I don't know. We've just done. What else have we done, Leanne? We've, we've done, done it. We've had speakers at bars, at churches. <laughs> yes. Just wherever. I mean, yeah, wherever there's a need, we've done stuff. I'm just trying to remember all the stuff we've done. One of the first events that you did, you invited me to, to this little tiny town and there were like 50 people that showed up. Yes, that was a cancer event you did. Yes. And it's like the community just really came out. And so I've started doing that again. Like I really am building it for the community. I put it in the paper. I don't say Juice Plus so much, but it just come with us, I think, last time. What um, a, one of your simple events, though, I remember you just did a salad in a jar not too long ago. And like everybody that was there ordered. Yeah, that was crazy. It was crazy good. But um, we just we do keep it simple. We just share the beads. We show the difference in a vitamin and juice plus. We, we just share stories. And I think the kicker with that one was they set me at a table afterwards and said, okay, we're going to build salads. You know, we showed them how to do it. Marty will be over there if anybody has questions or is ready to order. And everybody just kept coming and ordering. And I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> it was anyway, it was really good. I wish that would happen every time, but anyway. <laughs> It doesn't have to be complicated and you don't no. have to be right. I'm definitely not complicated. So far, you've told us that you started by wanting to help yourself, your own family, and then helping other people. You needed the security and the stability that this business could offer. You love the community. You love what you do yes. every single day. So talk to us about when you when you really got a desire to get to NMD. Was it for the benefits? Was it or more time freedom? What was that for? Um, um, yeah, I was thinking time freedom, although I still seem to work as much. Um, but I think I was just tired of not getting there. Y'all know what I mean? I mean, I, I didn't do this overnight. Like, you know, I didn't do it in five years. I did it in 12 years. And I kept thinking, next year's the year, next conference, by golly, you know, and it wouldn't happen. And and I got like, my boss is also a business coach and he got me to start looking at my numbers and I just wouldn't even look at them. He was like, just take a look because you might be closer than you think. And sure enough, I was, when I looked at him, I'm like, that's doable. And he goes, yeah, it is. What do you got to, you know? And so then I started once again, coaching with you and Susie and whoever, you know, and just really once a week. And we, we just had to make it happen. We worked those reports like nobody's business. And I just got tired of not having it. And I, you know, at that point, I just wanted to accomplish my goal. You know, I really did. So and what I think's cool about Marty um, is that she's not super high tech. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to be doing Excel and Google and all these things, but you know, you would just use the old fashioned method and just tracked, you looked at your reports on the 20th, looked on the 25th, learned how to read that genealogy report. Yeah. Just because you're loving on your people and you wanted to hit them, help them hit their goals. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. So obviously the insurance was a piece of that. Yes. Um, you know, at this point now, my husband's talking about retiring. He's going to retire early, but still he's thinking of retiring. We've always had really good insurance. And I'm like, I got to get that insurance. You know, that was a biggie for me too, because I need something once he does retire. So we'll have insurance. So, so what I love about Brad Bug is Brad is such a cool guy. Um, he, he's, he drives the big 18 wheeler that hauls brand new 18 wheelers. So you've seen those massive trucks on the road. On top he, of each other. <laughs> yeah, they're all stuck on it. He drives those up for Peterbilt and they fly them back. And, you know, people at the truck stops might not be eating their fruits and vegetables. So <laughs> Brad is always sharing on the road, which mm -hmm. I think is so cool. Yeah. yeah. He's a truck driver on a mission is what we said. <laughs> <laughs> so... As far as this community, Marty, and some of the disappointments that you've experienced, um, do you want to talk about that and how you've overcome mm -hmm. the obstacles? Yeah, I'll talk about it a little because I decided when that happened, I wasn't going to land on it and talk about it a lot because I would rather be positive 
and look at the bright side of it. But my upline just up and left for something else. And I was just devastated. Not only was I devastated because my upline was gone, but we were really close, I thought, you know, and I think that's, I think that was the part that that messed with me the most. And I just had to work my way through it. But once again, this community is awesome. I mean, we can Voxer Catherine Lee, you know, and get some perspective. And, and I did. I just reached out to whoever I needed, like I've always done. I would do that anyway. I would reach to Leanne or if she wasn't gone to carry. I just reached to whoever I need. And yeah, so it was disappointing. My team was you know, we were just kind of like, what, what? We were just kind of lost, but we just all gathered together. We talked about it a little and we decided we're going to do this thing. Like this gives us even more push. We're getting an MD by golly. This is going to happen this year, but we're going to show everybody and we're going to get an MD. And we did. And um, we just decided to focus on the positive because, you know, if something's negative, it, it gets all over everybody. And so Actually, it's 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 a blessing sometimes. So, well, and y'all see what I mean about always making that cup half full or a hundred percent full. I mean, she just is contagious, and the way she inspires and encourages and edifies all the time, and is such a team player. Mm -hmm. um, so, one of the attributes that you have is you always show up on calls. If if it, if there's no reason in the world why you can't be at conference, you're there with your team. Um, You've just become an amazing leader and again, just so lovable and just not complicated. So I guess I just want to ask you, you know, I know that you would share Juice Plus whether you made a penny or not mm -hmm. um, in this community, but what is it that, that has changed the most about you in the last 12 years because of the community? Oh, I think it's the personal growth stuff. Like they always say, this is a personal growth thing hidden in a business or uh, that's not exactly how I say it, but y'all know what I mean. Um, it definitely is. I've loved the personal growth. Like I really like that kind of thing and need it. <laughs> and um, my team likes it too. So that, that's, that's what I think. I think that's what's changed the most. One of my favorite stories about Marty is I would go up and do some events in this little cute town and her mom would always be there. You know, her mom is, her, her mom is named Cindy and she's just like Marty, just as cute and, and persistent, pleasantly persistent. And I would say, why don't you get on Marty's team? You know, cause she's always coming to events. She's always bringing events, people to events. And she said, no, that, you know, no, that's not going to help. You know, I'm, I don't sell things. <laughs> And finally, after like the third year of her showing up to all of these events, I'm, she, I'm like, do you want to know how you could help Marty best? And she said, how's that? And I said, you could be on her team. <laughs> and she is one of Marty's strongest legs. And it's so fun watching them to do this business together. Oh, yeah, that's so, that's such a blessing. It is such a blessing to do it with my mom. Yeah. And I can't imagine, I, we we're talking today, and I cannot imagine getting up and not doing juice plus every day. Like, I don't even know what I did before I got involved in this really. Like, I don't even, it just does. It's just like part of me and part of my life. You know what I mean? People can't find time to do their business. I, I used to listen to Voxers while I'm walking on the way to the restroom or something. I would just, you know, I'm just always thinking and listening. And uh, yeah, I just, I love my juice plus. At the same time, you're always present with whomever you're with, which mm -hmm. I think is really important. You know, you, you've learned how to set time aside for your son or for your job, or whatever. And so you're always, yeah. you're always present, but yet it's definitely a priority. So I just want, I'll turn it over to Sharon and have, have, let her ask any questions she can. Um, Marty lives an hour away from me and she drives almost every time I have an event, she's here or her has her teammates here. We do a lot of driving to be with each other. Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of events, whether it's Zoom, Facebook parties, um, the momentum of having something on the calendar yeah. because of the conversations that happen because of inviting to that event is what keeps the ball rolling, don't you think? I do. Yeah. Events are big. And, and like you said, the three-way calls and events or connection calls are, are really, 
Yeah, exactly. You got to show up and there's so many things you can just plug into, you know, you don't have to go anywhere, but I really like to go. I think there's something about being together mm -hmm. that matters. Mm -hmm. So you can see why I love Marty Bug and um, she just, uh, she really lifts the tide, you know, for all of us and on our team and such a team player. And so Sharon, I'll let you come on and see if you have any comments or questions for Marty. Well, thank you, Marty, and thank you, Leanne, for sharing with us, and I'm going to take this back into gallery view, but thank you for sharing with us this evening. One of the things I heard you say, and when I've heard you say, I would commend you for being an avid student. You're an avid student. You're a lifelong student, and I, and that that is a gift, a personal growth that this business gives us that really, I don't know, it's a priceless gift. I'm thinking you would agree with that. Yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I heard you say you were a desperate mom. And I think that's where I was when I got started 39 years ago. I was desperate. That's and desperate. would you agree? I don't know, Leanne, you might agree with this too, that it might not be desperate for better health. It might not even be desperate for finances, but it might just be desperate for connection. Yes. For contribution. Mm -hmm. for, for a purpose for some people, you know? Yes. Sounds like Juice Plus has given you a significant purpose. Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, congratulations. I don't know if anybody else has a um, a question, but and I also something I love something else you said, because you, I told this to my husband the other day because he was helping some people and he came in and was telling me all about it. And I said, well, that's nothing more than the helpers high. <laughs> yeah. And there's just something about hearing stories Tell me, have you, when you've heard your first stories from customers about their life being changed, how did that make you feel? Oh my gosh. It just, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. That's the thing that I love the best about this. Like, yeah, my, my kids, well, my kid's gotten better. He's not sick all the time. And that just, yes, that makes me so happy. And I do that with where I work, you know, it's around the same sort of thing. So I just get to be surrounded by it all the time. And I love that. Yeah. Sounds like you, you were, you were a perfect person for this community and this mission for <laughs> sure. It just took a while, didn't it? Yeah, it took me a little while. For I mean, sure. I worked it. It just took me a little while. Yeah. And one of the things you all talked about was events. And we actually have right now, we have a challenge going on within our team that we started in May to the end of September called three and 30. So we're, we've got a challenge going on and you all really hammered home on events and the importance yeah. of events. And we're doing a three and 30, three live events in 30 days and people get to choose their 30 days and we'll have some special recognition at conference and also some giveaways for sure. So um, it sounds like events have been what has grown your business significantly. To me, it's easier. I mean, you can do one-on-ones and I think they're just as important, but if you could get five people there, 14 people there, I mean, your odds are, are even, you can, you know, help that many more people. So anyway, that's the way I look at events. Have you ever had an event when only one or two people showed up, but you did it I anyways? I've had an event where nobody showed up, but my mom and I took pictures like we had the best time ever and posted them all over Facebook. So, yeah. I love, that's the ones that people need to hear. <laughs> yes. So just like act like it was great. It was. We had a great time. <laughs> I love, you know what, that's taking a half empty glass and turning it half full and having a cup full of joy for that, for sure. So thank you so much. Thank you for coming in and sharing. And we, uh, I do believe in the recordings, Facebook page, your um, talk that you did with Wendy on Wendy Campbell's call is still there, is it not? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think if anybody wants to go in here, when uh, Marty's story a little bit more, um, you could go to the recordings page and get it as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Welcome. Have a great week. This um, It is a super time to be sharing. I can't imagine a better time that we have right now. When Jay Martin said some years ago, he said the best was yet to come. It, that was prophetically said 
that as we moved, uh, transitioned from water and air filters and high ticket items to into Juice Plus, and we were floundering a little bit back then and we didn't really know the way, he said the best is yet to come. Well, the best is here now and we are enjoying that right now. Stability and growth and resources like we've never had. So I just encourage you guys to stay connected. And one of Leanne and Marty's uh, team leaders, Carrie Radnoff, says something that I quote all the time. I quote Carrie all the time and I've put it in trainings. And when she said the greatest enemy of our business is isolation. And I think that is one of the most profound statements that I've ever heard. I've never forgotten it. And I encourage people all the time to stay connected. So I thank all of you for staying connected this evening. And thank you, Marty and Leanne. Thank you. You guys can unmute if you want to unmute yourself and thank everybody thank you. for being here. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great. safe week, everybody. Let's go out and make a difference. People are praying. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.